Hey, fifth graders, we're going to continue our study of expression in plays by talking about the play that you've been reading a little bit of each day this week, The Lion and the Mouse Shoot Hoops. Now, I already had you read over pages two to three, I believe on Monday this week, on the first day, but we're going to read over pages two and three together today and talk about the different expressions of these different characters and what they should sound like. So you can take a minute and pause this and just kind of read through this page to yourself to review. And then once you do that, I'm going to read it to you. All right, now that you've read it, I'd like you to listen to me read it and think about the expression or the tone of voice that I'm trying to use for each character and what that tells you about each character. Narrator. This tale is about a group of sixth grade kids who like to play basketball. Anna, Ricardo, and Jade were pretty good players. But the best of all was Leona Lyle, whose nickname was Lion. Lion was great. The only problem was that sometimes she hogged the ball. Ricardo. Lion, why don't you let me have the ball once in a while? Leona. Because you're never open. Besides, we're winning. What else could you want? Ricardo. I'd like to do something besides stand around and watch you score. Leona. I'm not going to try to pass the ball to you if the other team might steal the ball. Jade. Are you kidding? We never steal the ball. Anna, it's not fun when this game is lopsided. Leona, I'm not having fun because it's too easy. Why don't we switch it around? You three against me. Ricardo, fine with me. At least the rest of us might finally get a chance to take some shots. Narrator, even with three people against her, Lion won easily. Leona, too bad we can't make it four against me because I need more of a challenge. Narrator. Just as Lion spoke, a tiny kid came onto the court. In a squeaky little voice, he said, Marvin. Hi, everybody. I'm Marvin. Can I play too? Jade. No, little dude, you can't. You're too small and you might get squished. Besides, anybody as tiny as you can't possibly be any good at basketball. Marvin. I know I'm not very good, but if you give me the ball, I'll show you one thing I can do. Leona. Come on, Jade. Let's just see his stuff. Here, kid, catch. Marvin. Oh, hey, you don't have to throw it so hard. So let's think about those different characters and kind of what you heard me, how you heard me express those different characters. So based on how I read it, write down these five characters' names and just write a few words that would summarize the tone that you heard me using to rep to express each one of these characters. So with Ricardo, he was upset, frustrated, right? Maybe frowning. That's what you would see on his face because he was clearly frustrated with Leona, the lion, and how she was taking control of everything. So I hope you heard some frustration or heard him being upset in the tone I used. For Leona, I tried to make her sound bossy, like she was standing tall, hands on her hips the whole time because she was really, she had some attitude, right? She was a little sassy. There's another word we could use, bossing people around. Marvin, I tried to make sound eager, excited. If you could see him, he would be smiling. He would be bouncing around. Jade was just kind of taking the situation humorously. So I was just trying to make her sound humorous. She'd probably be smiling, maybe smirking. And Anna was just kind of sad bummed that she really wasn't getting to participate. So if you could picture her, she would kind of have her head down and her shoulders slumped. So again, how we read it shows how the characters feel, right? So make sure that as you're practicing reading the rest of the lion and the mouse shoot hoops, that you're really thinking about the tone and the mood that each character has and how you are making them sound. Also, be thinking about what they would look like, because that will help you also determine what they will sound like. So continue moving on today and reading the text and practicing what you think these characters should sound like. Remember, you will be recording yourself doing this for just a page or two of the text on Friday, on your last day of this unit. Bye, fifth graders.